Hey there and welcome to another video on information marketing and this one has to do with the three types of websites you should and actually that you must have. The first type of, a, uh, of site of a website that you need if you're going to succeed as an information marketer is an authority site. Very similar to the one you're on right now, the fredgleek.com. I use this as an example. I use it as an example because that has all the components that you should have which is number one on the site, on your authority site, you've got to demonstrate your knowledge about your topic, your area, your industry. You've got to make it clear to people that you know what you're talking about and show people not only your knowledge and your expertise, but show people how you are, your, who you are, and how you are unique. I do that in terms of my tagline and everything I do on the site shows people the difference between me and a lot of the other information marketers. So on your authority site, you've got to both demonstrate your knowledge and show people who you are, a little bit about yourself, be a little bit self-disclosive, and also your uniqueness. What makes you different than other people in the field? You also want to have elements on your site that create what I call stickiness and create repeat vis visits. Now by stickiness, I'm, I'm giving you an example right here, which is you are now watching one of my videos. And that keeps you on the site longer. Therefore, the average visitor time on my site goes up dramatically. And that means that Google will rank me higher, everything else being equal. So create elements on your site, on your authority site, that will increase the stickiness factor or the length of time that people stay on your site. Might be a survey, might be a test, whatever it is. And also, on your authority site, make sure and have something that will get people to come back to you again and again and create repeat visits. In my case, I've got my blog that I add to on a regular basis, and people want to come back, they want to make comments, but they want to see what's new on the site. So have things that are new and not just a static site. That's very important. You also want to make it e easy for people to figure out how to navigate and get around on your site. Because the most frustrating thing that people can experience on an authority site is not figuring out how to get where they need to go. And that's crucially important for you, and make sure that even a third grader can do it. Remember, less is more. You shouldn't have a lot of clutter on your site. You know, again, concentrate on making it simple and easy to understand. And if you need help on putting your authority site together, I highly recommend you talk to Dave Hamilton at authoritysites101.com, and that will help you to get exactly what you need in terms of a good-looking site that is fully functional. Now, our next item here, a next type of site that you need, is a sales letter site. Now, the main goal on this site is to sell a product or service. And I probably should have moved this around here, but here, the fredinfobootcamp.com site is the one that I would like you to take a look at. That is a great example of a site that does very well at getting people to buy a product or service. In this case, it's to attend one of my one-week events here in Las Vegas and in Henderson, Nevada, on how to, you know, to produce and, and, and promote your own information products business. Now, the main goal of that site, and you should look at it and feel free to copy the format and everything in it, but the main goal of that site is to get people to sign up. The secondary goal of that site is to get people to give me their email address. Now, I have found on these sales letter sites that both copy, the written word, and a video seem to be necessary, but I suggest that you play with that, and with all of these, remember measurement eliminates argument. You want to have Google Analytics set up to determine what percentages work best for you. Now, our third and last site that everyone must have is a squeeze page site. The primary goal of a squeeze page site is to get people to opt into a list. You're trying to get people to give you their email address, usually in exchange for some valuable video or, or digital bonus. Take a look at voiceovertraining.org, that's Bill DeWeese, one of my joint venture partners, and his site, because it does extremely well, close to 30%, of converting people to give him their email address. Now, you want to measure results based on the percentages of people who opt into your list. That's what you're looking for. The better the number, the better you're doing. Now, I said videos seem to be working, but they may not work for you. So don't assume that a video must be on a squeeze page site, but they seem to be working in general. So I would start with that and then test around it. And again, using your Google Analytics. Um, also, if you get that number above 20% in terms of the percentage of people who opt in, you're doing great. So uh, again, that's what you're shooting for. So those are the three different types of sites that you must have. And again, you have all of those as an information marketer. They're all necessary. One of the questions people ask me is, should you have separate domain names for each of these? And the answer for me is yes. 
And of course, go to ultracheapdomains.com to reserve those. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video and hope it made it a little bit clear which of the three types, uh, which of the three types of sites you need and why you need them. Thanks.